Whoa. So I guess I'm kind of on here live. Well, okay. So this is a stream just to kind of say what's up. And essentially, I'm kind of on here to help stream with some buddies of mine who are never around. Sorry, this might be a little boring, but let's go ahead and All right, well, it's probably just for me, and that's, that's all right, so. I don't know if this is going to be better, worse, or indifferent, but... <laughs> All right, well, this is kind of an odd adventure in streaming. All right, so... Okay. Not sure that I have anything more I need to base code on this first part. So Let's have you hold on for just a moment. Okay. Now, what you might see is some green stuff around in here. What that is, is that's actually liquid latex. Put that on so I could just paint over, not worrying about it, because normally I do this with a spray. I'm just saying. Don't think that I'm just going to paint this stuff by hand, typically. Well, I mean, obviously, I'm here painting it by hand. You can't tell me it didn't happen. It's 
going to be on YouTube for everybody to see, but... So when it comes to painting with a brush like this, this is probably the ugliest and worst brush I have. I'll be completely upfront with everybody. I've got an airbrush. I've got a good airbrush. It's a nice airbrush. It's got a lot of capability to it. I just am not very good with it. I don't know it very well. So I think what I'll end up doing <coughs> is probably trying to figure out just how to make that happen and to have a better idea as to how to make that happen, I think I will. For those of you who are coming into chat, welcome, welcome. Give me a moment. Feel free to chat me, leave a comment, whatnot. It's all good. Now for primer, what I'm using, I'm using a Vallejo uh, surface primer out of a bottle. As a friend of mine commented the other day, it creates a texture along the outside of the figure that is, for lack of a better term, rubbery. Which, as far as I can tell, is kind of the intended aim, seeing as it's been fairly consistent across everything I've used this with. Now, I have not used this with an airbrush yet, but I would imagine it would be even better. Oh, sorry. I can imagine it would be even better from an airbrush. Kind of interesting. I can kind of take a look and get a little more up close and personal. Just right here, I'm just priming, but it's kind of neat just for me the way I've got this set up that I can kind of go in real close if I need to and just be like, okay, focus. There we go. Okay, so that kind of gives me... Again, not that I can't see that, and I'm not going to promise any of these are going to turn out well. There should be my disclaimer. I have no disclaimer. Disclaimer, I may be a terrible artist. I may suck at painting. But, I'm here, and you've got the entire internet to look through. So, you know what? Hey, have at it. So I got uh, some news at work. 
isn't necessarily good. Looking into this next four years might not be a good way. Essentially, I'd be coming in and into 2017 without a job. That, um, that would be bad for me. Okay, I'm not sure why I'm painting this one. I think I'm just getting a little overzealous. But it's getting painted. You know how I know? You're watching it get painted, and it's happening live right now. Moo-ha-ha. -ha. All right. Oh, great. Okay, this is probably the component right there that I have the most to do on one side that's going to be unexposed. So, Okay. She was over at a buddy's house and I brought all this stuff over. I just have to unload everything. Oh. Start with a little bit of the Cantor Blue. I tend to use the Airline as it requires less thinning than others. I don't have anything clever to add like certain individuals on other hobby sites might say like thin your paints stuff like that. I don't know who else does that. It's well known for painting stuff. Er, any better? Anything? No? Maybe? Maybe? Okay, yeah. So that's what I'm going to use. Shaking it up really well. I doubt you can hear that. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. So,
Yeah. Like that might make it better. I just turned off one of my lights. Start up here. Okay. I'm a big fan of layering. Use what layers you can, piece at a time. Hmm. So what I'll probably do is use the other one. Frame frequency of four seconds. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to check my Let's see. Okay, well, let's see.
Let's see if this is... All right, I'm just kind of pulling some of this information back because I'm not exactly sure. Well, Oops, sorry about that. All right, let's see. Again, not necessarily expecting this to make anything major happen, but...
I'm gonna brush it off. Hmm. Hmm. Gotcha. Listening to Are We Good by GRL. I don't think you can hear it. I don't think you're allowed. No girl for you. Mwahaha. Although, in fairness, it's not really girl, it's GRL. Still working on first coat. And I like it as one of the lines says, I'm going to brush it off. That's just me. And here I am brushing it off. I have to figure out a better camera angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start by base coating the whole thing. Probably should have thought or planned this through, but as far as painting these figures go, I typically don't do that. It's one of those phases that I tends to miss me every time. It's like we have an appointment, and I'm always not the one there. You'd think that this whole planning thing and I would just go our separate ways, but it keeps coming up. Oh well.
So this guy is going to be sinister. Left-handed. So once you take these components, and they're just going to fit right in here. It's going to happen like that. So that's the crimson fist right there, or it will be. All right, well, this has been fun. And I don't know if I'm working on this more tonight or not, but... Ah! So, essentially, this is where I'm at. I've got uh, some of the base color pretty much on the figure itself. I uh, can't get it to stay in focus, but that's so well. So I've got some of the base color on the figure itself, and then I've gotten the base color on a couple shoulder pads that I'm going to use, a little bit onto the firearm, Helmet has been primed, and I still think that this helmet is, in and of itself, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, you're not going to see it. And that's just, you know, tough shit. You're going to have to come over here. Uh, come visit. So anyway, um, there's the back. I'm going to work on this one more next time, hypothetically, theoretically. So I sincerely hope that you've enjoyed it. Uh, to my buddies John and Adam, if you're watching this, I uh, apologize, uh, you know, that we couldn't game more, but still, ma. All right, thank you very much, everybody, and uh, I guess we'll see you next time. Sound good? Ah, see now I can't even stop this.